Hi guys, I'm Vilkan and in this video I will tell you about making of my short film Hack the System, which I shot with my family during the COVID-19 quarantine. If you didn't watch the film, please make sure to check it first because this video will have some spoilers and will kill all the movie magic, so link in the description below. Let's go. So this short film was inspired mostly by classic sci-fi and action movies. I made it mainly to get some experience, experiment, make some mistakes and live from them. And I made a lot of them. When I was writing the script, I had in mind all limitations from budget to locations, but I was still too ambitious. So when it came to shooting, I had to rewrite script as we progress, which ended up with cutting a lot of story and with an open ending. If it comes to gear, I use my good old Sony 6000 with Sigma lenses, mostly 18 to 35, and some wider shots with 16mm. I also use some stock footage for city and operating system shots. I use neutral creative style with all things set to minus 3. I always try to use native ISO as much as I can, which is 100 on this camera, but because I didn't have enough lights in most of the scenes, I had to crank it up, but still only to 640 max. For lighting, I had only one small LED panel, two LED tapes and some practical lights. I also got cheap fog machine to add some atmosphere. The software I used for editing was Adobe Premiere, but it was my last project using this program. I fully switched to DaVinci Resolve now. All costumes and props was either things we got in home or some cheap things from secondhand shops. I put it together some references for character and location designs that I had in my mind and thanks to my wife, who was supervising everything and helping me with manual work, I was able to bring it to life. This was the first room in the basement that we shot. I blocked the lights coming from windows with some red materials. I used here one practical lamp, LED panel diffused by red bag and one LED tape set to red. I wanted this scene to look dark and hot like it's a hell for the hero. Here I'm dressed in a costume and my wife is playing with different shots so I can check them later and choose the best composition and lighting setup. That's my crazy brother, always making fun on set. To look cool and overworked, I wanted him to put oil on his skin and get some dirt from carbon. Those are some shots before and after grading. I'm pretty happy how they came out here. Next scene that we shot was in the same room, we just changed the scenography and lighting. I added some old computer parts on set to make it look like engineering lab. I wanted this scene to look more blue to match McRaven's corporation colors. We put a white LED tape around the glass on old washing machine to create table and one set to blue in the background. Main light here was practical fluorescent from above, flagged with black bags and diffused. It is probably my favorite scene if it comes to visuals. I really like the colors here. Here you can see how I figured out elevator scene and created an illusion that this underground world is bigger. Main light was LED panel diffused by shower curtain plus one LED tape set to red and practical lamp in the background. This is me making movie magic with the wooden bar. Minus 25. I wanted to have some special thing in this shot, so I came up with an idea that I will make a teleport. It's an easy effort and construction shouldn't be hard, right? Yeah, in my mind for sure, but in real life not necessary. Fortunately, my father is very good at technical things and helped me a lot with the construction. It definitely took much more time than I expected, especially with my poor technical skills, which you will witness in a moment. Finally, with a lot of pain along the way, we finished. This is the second room in the basement, same as elevator scene. I needed to flag and diffuse LED panels, so my wife helped me to quickly make some DIY mini softbox. Overall, I also wanted to make this place to look dark and unpleasant, so I underexposed a lot. 
that's just some electronic parts I found in the basement and put it together to make control panel for teleport in the background. Practical with an improvised light cookie. This is a teleport, lightened by LED tape from above and here is LED tape set to orange. If it comes to lighting and colors, I'm not fully satisfied with this scene. It could end up much better, but at least I could make some experiments and learn something. With teleport effect, I just put it to camera on tripod and made two shots, one with and one without hero, mask it out, then added some stock effects and glow. That's the same room, different setup. Me and my brothers preparing to make a quick shot for the last scene. For city and building shots, I used stock footage and put it together in Photoshop, then added some animation, softness and graded too much to the rest of the shots. Now we move up to the second location, which was my brother's apartment. I didn't have any green screen, so I used a luma key and some masking to add city in the windows and remove unwanted things from the shot. Now this is me as an evil boss eating them. This is a corridor next to my brother's apartment. I couldn't mess up with lighting there and needed to shoot quickly, so I just used practicals and one LED panel. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Here's my wife dialing up and down power of LED to make lighting for teleport. And here's the final effect. A quick scene with a blaster. First, I lighten up weapon a little bit to make loading effect, then added wave and smoke circle effects. Same as previous city shot, this was created in Photoshop from stack footage and animated. To the last moment, I didn't know how I will make main computer, so on the day I decided that my brother's fridge will do the job. Behind the fridge there is my wife making flickering effect with LD Pana. It's over, McRaven. You can't stop the revolution now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 And here is the main hero warming up before the final clash with the boss. <laughs> so as you can see, there was a lot of fun on set. Definitely much more than in pre-production and post-production where I needed to fix a lot of things. So my brother who made sound and music couldn't be on set always, so we decided to record all dialogues in post. Here are some behind the scenes of that. Minus 25. Uh, <laughs> you're doing something risky for these rebels again. <laughs> you know I'm worried about you. <laughs> it was a big challenge for us because it was not in our native language, but it was a good lesson, so I'm happy that we did it. You know that I don't like this technology. We're here because of it. <laughs> <laughs> All music was composed by my youngest brother Mikowai. The team that we chose was obviously 80s and 90s sci-fi style. He did a fantastic job which added a lot of life to this field. Make sure to follow him on social media, links in the description. Those are the numbers of days and hours spent on specific scenes how big was crew and which location was used. Grading and editing took me too long for sure. Partially because I was still working on my old laptop and I was doing some VFX, but I also made a couple of mistakes on set due to multitasking and a lack of time. So to sum up, I really learned a lot doing this film. 
I hope you learned something too watching this video, or at least had some fun. If you got some questions, please write down in the comments. I plan to make more films and videos like this in the future, so if you like it, please make sure to subscribe and see you soon.